Welcome to N1 Mathematics. And in this lesson, we'll be looking at logarithm. Now, when using a calculator to calculate logarithms, we'll use this key in our calculator, which represents log base 10. For logarithms, a log represents an exponential form, and an exponent can be rewritten in logarithmic form. For the definition of a logarithm, the base 2 to the exponent of 3 is equal to 8. Therefore, when rewritten in logarithm form, we say log base 2 of 8 is equal to the exponent of 3. Where 2 is our base, 3 is the exponent, and 8 is the answer. Once again, 3 is the exponent, 2 is the base, and 8 is the answer. Looking at it from a different angle, 2 is our base, 8 is the answer, and 3 is the exponent. We're going to take a look at some logarithmic laws. Now for law number 1, if numbers are multiply, the logarithms are added. Therefore, log base A of x multiplied by y can be rewritten as log base A of x plus log base A of y. If we do an example, log base 2 of 16 plus log base 2 of 32. Now, when logarithms are added, we multiply the numbers. 16 multiplied by 32 gives us 512. Once again, 2 is the base. 512 is the answer. So the question is, what is the value of the exponent? Now, when the base of 2 is raised to an exponent, the answer will be 512. The unknown variable is the exponent. So if we write this in exponential form, we can say base 2 to the exponent of what is equal to 512. If we use our calculator, we could say log 512 divided by log 2, and we'll get an answer of 9. Now for law number two, if numbers are divided, the logarithms are subtracted. Therefore, log base A of X over Y can be rewritten as log base A of X minus log base A of Y. Looking at the example, log base 3 of 81 minus log base 3 of 27. Now when we subtract logarithms, we will divide the numbers. Therefore, 81 divided by 27 will give us 3. Now, log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1. If a number is raised to a power, the logarithm of the number is multiplied by the exponent. Therefore, log base a of x to the exponent of m can be rewritten as, well, first of all, we take the m to the front of the log. Therefore, it will be m multiplied by log base a of x. Let's take a look at another example. Log base 10 of 1000. If we rewrite the 1000 exponential form, we'll have log base 10 of 10 to the exponent of 3. Therefore, we can take the 3 across. It will be 3 multiplied by log base 10 of 10. Now, log base 10 of 10 can be simplified and can be cancelled, and it can be equal to 1. Therefore, 3 multiplied by 1 gives us an answer of 3. If no base is given, we assume that the base is 10. Therefore, log of b can be rewritten as log base 10 of b. Now, in this example, there is no base given once again. Therefore, we can take the exponent to the front of the logarithm, It'll be 2 multiplied by log of 1,000. Now, the 1,000 can be simplified to exponent form. And once again, we take the exponent to the front. 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6 multiplied by the log of 10. Now, and once again, there is no base given. So we're going to assume it's log base 10 of 10. Simplified, it's going to be 6 multiplied by 1. Therefore, the final answer is 6. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like and share these videos. Thank you.